I got something special for you today. We're gonna answer the age old question. What is value? What is value to your relationships? What is value to your friends? What is value to your family? But most importantly, what is value to you? This is your captain speaking, and I'm gonna give you the types of value and go in depth into it. So the first one would be social value, the second would be financial value, third will be some kind of physical value, and then lastly, emotional value, which is probably the most neglected. So first one, social value. What is social value? So evolution, when we became a species, probably the most powerful species in the world as human beings, we are able to do this because we were social. We spread our ideas, we spread our stories, we had people around there. It's kind of group theory. If you actually fell out of the group, you died, right? So social value is being part of the group and the group that's the most popular or the most likely to survive. And what is that? Right now it's probably celebrities, Instagram, right? When a person has a million followers, we give them that social value. It's like, oh my God, you ever got tagged? by someone uh, who has a lot of followers and all of a sudden you get all these followers, that's a great example of social value. Or when you were younger, you see the high school quarterback, all of a sudden you become friends with a popular guy and all the popular guy friends are your friends. And it's a weird way where you feel self-confident. So social value, in a way, gives you a emotional uplift and that's what we crave it. You feel like you belong. But you not only belong to any group, you feel like you belong to the group that's most likely to survive or the most popular group. And that's why we seek to be part of a celebrity group or a higher social media following group, right? So that's a great example of what social media or social value is. Financial value. This is very easy, right? Let's say you go out with me as a friend and I buy dinner for you, or I buy you a car for you, or I buy you an iPhone for you, or I give you something of some monetary or material. That is material value. You know, a good example is you see on TV or probably some friends in your life who have a lot of women around him and he has a lot of wealth. He provides a blueprint for those women. The women want financial value, which in turn leads to security. If you actually go back to evolution, people crave security and stability. And nowadays, it's not about, you know, the biggest stability we have is money. If you have money, let's be honest, it's better being rich than poor. You don't have to stress about your next meal, where you're gonna live. So when a person provides financial value, he will attract people. Is that wrong if the people who seek monetary value or financial value from that person, as long as the other person know that it's a transaction where he's like, hey, I will provide you financial value and here you become my friend. Or for a woman, it will be a, you know, a girlfriend or a wife. That's why you know, we see on the street, you've probably seen this, you know, a very younger woman with an older guy. But if she chooses to put on the list of values she wants, the financial value on top. There is nothing wrong with that. That's what she seeks, but yet we judge that sometimes. But what if we could provide that, right? Financial value is one type of value that certain people in life seek, and there should be no judgment on that. It's okay because financial value is security and stability, and it's been way past evolution. So the third one is physical value. So let me differentiate the man and the woman. So physical value for a man, back in the day, evolution stated a man who's tall, chiseled jaw, clean face, square jaw, right, symmetric face. That showed health benefits. When a person had looked like he had good genetics, when a man had symmetry all over his body and he was big and he was tall, that showed that their offspring, when a woman marries a man like that, the offspring will be genetically very healthy. And that's why when you go out, a lot of these models, they're very symmetric. A lot of these models are tall. Or when you ask women what kind of guys you like, they want a tall man. Because they believe still by evolution that physically they want this health benefits. That's why we don't look at overweight people or overweight guys and say, oh, he's a very attractive man. You rarely see that because that doesn't show health. It doesn't show the benefit of the offspring they'll have. And then let's go back to the women, right? When a woman has a greater hip ratio, right, she's skinnier a little bit, but she has that hourglass shape, that actually showed men and attracted men, it shows them for the offspring they could have a lot of babies. So when a woman has a bigger hip or 
she looks very attractive, she's tall, slender legs, and she's sexy, men are attracted because it shows that first is beauty, right? There's that value of beauty and every man will probably look at him. But also the possibility of more offsprings and have a healthier offspring and a more attractive offspring. So last one I want to talk about is probably, I believe, is one of the most important and it's called emotional value. It's the most neg de neglected and I want to tell you why it's the most important. Financial value. In the end, what's the emotion that people get from financial value? Joy, I would say, or disgust of not being poor again that drives them to make that financial value where they become rich and they want to never feel that pain. Two, social value. Once again, joy, right? You feel the joy of being popular, that people love you, people want you, and that's why you seek social value. Third one is physical value. Have you ever been with a beautiful woman by your side and say, wow, I'm so happy right now. Or you wake up to a next to a beautiful woman and you're like, wow, I'm so joyful right now. So in the end, I believe all these other values, right? Financial, social, physical, it all comes down to emotions. So the, the most important value I believe you could give to a person is emotional value. Because without, you don't have to give someone all this money or you don't have to give them this jacked ripped body all the time. You don't have to give them this amazing followers of friends or all your friends. What if you could give these emotions they seek, which is joy, right? Happiness, the, all the positive ones we feel, love. What if you could do that without giving all that? What if you could just give that emotions? For example, you go to an amusement park and you take a girl there and she used to go there with her father who passed away. You bring up emotions of joy that she had with her father or just being a brother to someone, being a friend to someone, just being there. That is some value that you can't actually put a objective value on. You can't put a number to it. And that's why emotional value can actually be one of the most powerful values you could give anyone, your friends, family, or your loved ones. So there you have it, the four values. One, social status or social value, which is popularity and influence among your peers. Two is financial, which is providing and monetary. And three is physical, which is evolution, biology, and physical beauty. And the last one is emotion. Emotion are the type of emotions you give a person in your life. And this is your captain. It's been a pleasure serving you. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.